Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is February 4th and you know what that means. Happy almost Valentine's Day. So for today's video, I wanted to do a little Valentine's Day makeup tutorial for you guys looking for ideas. It's gonna be like a soft blend look using the Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette. Yes, I still love this palette and use it as often as I can. So today I just wanted to show you a little soft blend look, a pinky tone, and yeah, let's get straight to it. So to prime my eyes, I'm going to use LA Girls Pro Concealer. I love this brand. I've been using it for years already. If you guys are wondering what I'm looking at as well, I'm looking at this mirror right here. So it's literally so perfect for makeup applications, especially because it lights up and everything. And I got it off Amazon for 30 bucks. So it's really convenient. I use it like every day. To set the primer, I'm going to use this banana powder by Makeup Revolution. I don't know if you guys have used this before. I recently seen this in Ulta and I picked it up. It was $8 for the banana one and honestly, I think it works just as great as Laura Mercier. The only thing I don't like about it though is that it does look like this so you have to kind of pour it out where, where, whereas with Laura Mercier it's in the package which is easier to use. But it does the same effect, it just can be a little messy. So as a base color, I'm going to use the color Sherbet, and I'm just going to apply that over my lid using my Morphe M441 brush. Next, I'm going to take the shade Berry Ice right here, and I'm going to use that in my upper lid corner using my Morphe brush in M514. Using the same brush, I'm going to go into Ice Pop and just gently swift it on the brush and just move it from my outer corner in more. So that's what it looks like right now. Now I'm going to use the shade Strawberry Lemonade. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingertip and gently dab it over because sometimes with the brush, I feel like you get a better application with the fingertip than you do with the brush so you don't lose that excess product. It's really, really shimmery and it's a light pink shade, so it's really pretty. I feel like it goes nice with this dark pink color. And now to blend a little bit so it doesn't look too sharp, I'm just going to take the brush and I'm just going to easily swift it around so it looks more of a natural blend. Okay, and now I'm just going to add eyeliner and I'll be right back. For eyeliner, I just wanted to point out to you guys that I used Benefit's new roller liner. I picked this up also at Ulta for $22 and I must say that this liner does last. Normally, I'll use my Kat Von D liner and I used to love it before, but then when I found this one, I've used it and this is really waterproof, smudge proof everything proof. I have literally rubbed my eye and it did not come off at all. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys in case you were interested in purchasing. It's definitely worth the money. So now that my liner's on, I am just going to apply my foundation. So now that my liner is on, I'm just going to apply foundation. I'm going to prep and prime my face with a daily hydration moisturizer by e.l.f. I've used this for years. It works wonders. It helps my makeup stay on, but also it helps my skin stay hydrated as well during these winter months, so I definitely recommend this. For my foundation base today, I'm going to use NYX's BB Cream. I know you guys hear me use this in a lot of my videos, but this is literally the best BB Cream in the world. It literally lasts all day, it makes your skin look so natural and flawless looking, and it's kind of like wearing a foundation, but like a foundation colored moisturizer like it really works great so I'm just gonna use my Urban Decay makeup setting spray spray my brush as always and just apply this on my face as for concealer I'm going to go back into using my LA girl pro conceal concealer in the shade porcelain and I mix it always I always mix my concealers because I'll use the lightest shade to highlight in my outer corner and then I'll use a darker shade to like blend it out more. Then I'll use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. I'm just gonna put a little towards the outer corner. And then I'm just gonna blend everything out. Now I'm gonna take my banana powder and I'm just gonna set everything under my eyes with the powder. As for bronzer, I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs bronzer in Omega Bronze. Have any of you guys purchased Kylie Jenner's 
Valentine's Day collection. I just recently purchased the eyeshadow in the love set so I'm waiting for that to come into the mail and then I'm gonna make a video for you guys on that too. Using her collection for a Valentine's Day look. It's so pretty. I literally can't wait for it to come. For highlight, I am going to use the new Cover FX Highlighting Bar Palette. My sister just got this for me too. It's the prettiest palette in the world. It's like so shiny, so shimmery. And when you put it on, it's perfect. I'm going to take my Morphe brush in M310 and I'm going to gently swift it on all of the colors. I typically love to mix them just because it comes out like such a pretty outcome. And I'm going to take my Urban Decay setting spray. I'm just going to spray that. I mean, that glow is amazing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pearl color. It's called White Gold. I'm going to take this pearl color and I'm just going to put it towards the inner corners of my eye and just to highlight the brow bone. Before I get into lips, I just wanted to point out that ColourPop just released new mascaras and this is literally a dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. I got the shade Black on Black. I even got the blue shade too, which I'm going to be posting to my Instagram at Talk with Cat. You'll see a little video of me using it. The blue is so pretty. Like it's so vibrant and so pretty and it makes your eyes just pop out. I love it. Now that my mascara's on, I just wanted to quickly fill in my brow since I left that part out. So I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution uh, Brow Definer. It has two sides to it. The actual stick. I got the shade in dark brown. And then the brush side too. So for lipstick, I'm going to be using Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Loyalist. I think a light pink will complement the eyeshadow perfectly. So I'm just going to apply that as well. Okay, now that that's done, just wanted to point out that the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink collection of the lipsticks is honestly the best matte lipstick I think I've tried so far besides Huda Beauty, of course, I love them. But for like a drugstore matte lipstick, I think this works great because it doesn't feel drying on the lips. It literally still feels hydrating. So just to, um, because I want to make this more of a gloss look, I'm just going to apply my NYX Butter Gloss in shade Fortune Cookie. And there you guys have it. This is the full Valentine's Day look for your guys' Valentine's night out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for my next video using Kylie Jenner's Valentine's collection that I'm so excited to do a video on for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!